so what up everybody i am excited um i am thrilled i am honored and i am blessed uh to be speaking to you guys um and welcome to the official i guess reboot um rededication and reinstallation of the natural light uh, it's been a long time just a lot going on in life but let's look forward to the present and the future rather than looking at the past anyway uh, everything i wanted to just be new and exciting and i was prepared but as you know uh, if you walk with god he'll quickly break and destroy any plans that you had in order to get the correct plan in order so uh, i thank god for that but how do i kick this off um such an incredible revelation for me and hopefully i'm hoping that uh this video does the same for you and i just want to give a i guess a uh what is it called what is it called hmm. i want to give a heads up to uh, my friends my church uh, my family if, and anybody else uh this message was not purposely to um uh, to shame or to throw shade or to throw shame at people but it's just a revelation that uh i think needs to be heard so no one's right no one's wrong but just move along and um do the right and righteous thing so today uh, on my way into work which is at a church uh I heard a story of a young man that came in that was basically asking for money and asking for help. And without me knowing what was going on, I quickly just got the urge to run towards the things people are running away from, uh, if that makes sense. Or, but that in itself is a lesson, but uh, anyway. I purposely went to search for this person uh, to see what it is I can do to, because instantly the first thing that went in my mind was, I don't have money. Honestly, I am, like, I, I literally had to borrow money from my friends this week. Uh, and I understood, I guess, uh, even if I didn't, if I did have the money, I was going to go to him regardless, but I don't have money. And instantly my mind went to the scriptures that I read. Money I do not have, but what I do have to offer is far worth more than money. And yeah, so I searched out, went to look for the young man and uh, I, I could see that he was kind of bothering uh, some, of, some of us. And I just instantly went into prayer and value mode and I hope of course I heard from the Holy Spirit of how to minister to this young man and um, I really just talked about value and I talked about when you hear no that is not uh, a sign of your worth because truth be told yeah people do get annoying and needy people get annoying or, or people that want something for you and that may rub you the wrong way it's, it's super 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 annoying but um i just find especially even like with my wife i'm going on a tantrum here uh i just been talking to her and it's just like long story short man i just come to the the, the realization that people need jesus people need compassion people need grace people need uh, someone to hear them out they need people to understand them and I don't know what faith you have I don't know your mindset your theology but mine says that Jesus is all of those things and we have to be those things for people uh, so I find myself being convicted and asking forgiveness I asked my wife for forgiveness uh, just this morning um, to move on from the fact of 
when needy people or when people that we deem as uh, needy are not going well when they come up to you when they when they vouch for your time and they vouch for your money or they vouch for something from you it's not exactly you it's the God you follow who needs to be set at the forefront and given to them long story short uh, <laughs> but um, the point that I'm trying to make is uh, people need Jesus and if you run towards the problem and not away from it is when you will see uh, the breakthrough so as I run towards this young man and I prayed for him I pray for his mental health issues I pray for his ADHD I, I try to prove value and I, I did all of the spiritual things first <laughs> And once we got to that, all the kid wanted was some peanut butter. Like, I was ready to go buy his whole family pizza. I was ready to give him a couple of dollars that I didn't have. And he simply just said, all I wanted was some peanut butter. And once again, I went to the scripture. I went to the Good Samaritan uh, who got walked over and left. I, I went to... Um, the man at the well who was just walked over and told get out the way and it, all it took was one person uh, to really help another person and I just say that guys like I said to encourage you no one may not see that and I feel I felt some type of way po even posting this but I just feel like this is something that uh, you, you, and me need to hear more often is um, slowing down for that one person and understanding that they don't just need money and they do not just need help and they just do not need the stuff. They need Jesus who can supply all of these things. Um, so I hope you guys understand that. And uh, I hope this message comes off from the heart and like like the blog is naturally. Um, the words may have been all over the place, but I think you get it. And uh, I pray for that young man. We'll just call him Leonard. I pray for you, Leonard. I pray that your needs will be met and that your value will not come from the no that you hear. And I pray that for you too, homie. I pray that for you, sis that your value will not come from the no that you hear. And I learned so much about that young man. I learned about myself from that young man. And um, I think that's why God has us together doing this thing called life, because you learn so much more about yourself and what you do right or what you do wrong by how you interact with God's people. So people need Jesus, man. figure out a way pour it out and I promise you it'll encourage you all right so this is day signing off officially on a reboot first reboot of natural light I'll holla at you God bless peace